प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल लाइक एंड शेयर एंड हिट द बेल आइकन फॉर मोर अपडेट्स एंड मोर इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज असलम चुड़ैल चैनल यू हाउ टू क्रिएट क्वेज असाइनमेंट इन गूगल क्लास रूम एंड हाउ टू रिट्रीव इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्राम द स्टूडेंट सो फर्स्ट वी विल क्लिक ऑन क्लास वर्क देन विल क्लिक ऑन क्रिएट एंड देन सेकेंड ऑप्शन क्वेज असाइनमेंट नाइल गिव इट अ टाइटल माई टाइटल इज एंगल्स then we have uh, two options here add or create you can add file link or google drive or youtube video if you want uh, and you can create also so right now i want to just create a quiz so i'll click here now i'll first give it a name this is the file which will be stored in my google drive so i'm giving it a name angles and uh, this is the title which will be displayed uh, in front of the student so i'm writing here types of angles now before i proceed with this i have first to click on this option responses and make sure that this option is on if this is not on you will not be able to get the responses from the student so make sure this is on if uh, it is not on please turn it on then we'll come again to the question now we have few more option this first option is customize theme so you can uh, select the color you can also change the font so then uh, we have uh, another option preview if i click on preview it will show me how the quiz will uh, appear in front of the student so it's a very good option before uh, assigning it uh, before posting it first view it so you know how exactly student will attempt it we'll close this then we have this setting here we'll click on it now this is very important part you need to click here collect email addresses this is very important because when they will give you a response if you do not click this you will not be able uh, to get their names must click this also limit to one response in this way student will only be able to send their uh, assignment once not more than that then we have few more options here i don't want to check it then we have presentation here I'll click on shuffle question order so it will shuffle it and confirmation message your response has been recorded this is the default option if you want any more option you can write it and then we have quizzes now again make sure this option is also on assign point value so you can write the uh, answers before submitting the assign assignment the quiz then later on when the student responds automatically you will get their marks their quiz will be checked automatically so if you do not do this you have to check it one by one which will be hectic so this is a very good option of google classroom so utilize it then release grade immediately after each submission or later after ma manual review so you need to click on this also and then uh, miss question correct answer and point values uncheck this because if you click it uh, it will show the solution to the students so uh, they can share it with other other students so it's better not to check this and you can late after manual review if you want uh, email collections you can click here so you will be responded through the emails so right now i have selected only immediately after each submission so i'm clicking on save here now my setting is safe first question is so i have different options here multiple choice check box drop down you can try this one by one if you want me to discuss all in detail write in the comments i will discuss each option one by one now here we have few options for example if i write 90 degree 180 degree i am using tab so it's very quick to go to the next option you can use the mouse also to switch between these options otherwise you can use tap from the keyboard it's super fast then 270 so these are the three option i have given then i'll click on the answer give it a mark so one mark for it and the correct answer is 180 degree and then so this is my first question now for example if i have already a form and i want to insert a question from it so i will click in the second option import question you can import a whole quiz also if you have created a quiz and you want to reuse it you can import the whole quiz also or a certain part of the question so for example these are the few previously used so for example i am using this one 
I click on select now this first question I want to import so I'll click here I'll click here so it is displayed now see here uh, this is the question which I have imported the answer is there also everything is there in, in this now I will create a third one I'll again click on plus sign now here I want to insert an image because I have for example if you are teaching mathematics obviously it's uh, not easy to write mathematical questions so you can insert the image so I'll click here on the image now there are several options google drive photos wherever your photo is stored you can use that my uh, photo is on desktop so I'll click this upload and click on browse and then here is the image bottom mask this is a desktop you can choose the location where your file is saved so I will just type here bottom mask and click here this is one option or either double click this so now my file is uploaded and you can see here and the good thing is that we can resize this image also according to our requirement then we have uh, option for the answer so so these are the questions so this is how you create a quiz now one more thing in the bottom part if you want to delete any question then there is a delete symbol you can click this if you want to duplicate anyone for example if you are writing here what is the sum, sum of supplementary angles and you want to uh, make a duplicate for example I am clicking here duplicate now I will just change this supplementary to complementary and my options will stay same but only the answer will change so I will click here and click on 90 so you see how quickly you can make another uh, question so you can duplicate it you can delete it uh, when you come in the last is option required if you check this then a student must answer the question because if they do not answer it their form will not be submitted this quiz will not be submitted so if you want the student to answer each and every question then must check okay so this was our last question now I'll click here answer key and one is the correct answer so I'll choose it okay now my quiz is ready so I'll first preview it I'll click here and preview it that everything is fine or not so yes a student need to write their email address that's what I want then there are questions and there are options so everything is set fine so I'll just close this now I'll close this form also make, uh, you can close it because it's already saved certain here all changes save and drive so close it now I want to assign the marks so there were four questions so I will give four points for it four marks for it and uh, I want to set the due date also so it's for example 20 and if you want to write the time you can write the time also now I'll click on assign okay so now my quiz is created you can view here the student can view the file now they will fill their form and send you back the responses now we will learn how to retrieve their response now a student has sent me their assignment so I want to see their progress so I can mark their work so what you will do usually that you will click on the classwork you will click on this angles and you can see that the student has turned on so you will view the assignment but when you click here nothing is going to happen you cannot get a response from here so how to retrieve the information so don't worry I will tell you so we will go to again back to the classes their classwork now you will click on this types of angle first you will click on this form this is the correct way of doing it then you will click on this pencil mark on the right side and then you will click on the second option next to the question responses now here you can see the score of the student so you can see one student got two marks and one student got four marks so what you will do you will go back and you will again view the assignment and then you can write the marks here two and this Ravya Soil student got four marks so I'll give it four and then you will click on return so this is how you can create quiz assignment in Google Classroom and retrieve information from the students I hope you will like this video and you have found it very useful please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so every time I upload a video you are informed take care Allah Hafiz